Hi, hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ibrahim Sabalaji, and I'm the founder of Botte Technologies. In this tutorial video today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Steg Eye in Parrot Operating System or Kali Linux Operating System. If you're new to this channel, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button for more awesome content like this. So, in order for us to encrypt our message in um, our Parrot Operating System, it is very important for us to understand what steganography is and what differentiates steganography from our cryptography. Steganography is a form of secret writing which allows you to hide a message within another message without a third party knowing if um, the message is actually been uh, encrypted. Why for uh, cryptography? Cryptography allows you to encrypt a message and um, making it very suspicious because when you see uh, uh, a message that has been um, you know modified using cryptography, it is very easy for you to um, know that the message has been encrypted. So. Um, in steganography, we have different uh, types of steganography. We have the uh, text steganography, which allows you to encrypt a text within a text. And we have the image uh, steganography. For the image steganography, it allows you to encrypt an image within an image or a text uh, within an image. And also, we have the network uh, steganography. The network steganography is a very sophisticated uh, type of steganography, which allows you to um, hide data in the uh, TCP IP header or payload of a network. Then also we have the uh, video steganography. The video steganography is uh, a more sophisticated uh, type of steganography that uh, allows you to um, encrypt message in different uh, video files. Uh, and uh, after they have been joined together, it's very difficult for a third party to know what the secret message is uh, all about. Then next we have is the uh, audio steganography. The audio steganography allows you to encrypt uh, two audio files within the same uh, file. And this can be as uh, simple as um, having uh, some background noise in uh, a video or in a music track. Uh, the recipient has to listen to the uh, audio uh, track from backward to be able to decrypt um, this kind of uh, message. So in this tutorial video today, we are going to see how we can um, encrypt the text within an uh, image. And we are going to be using the Parrot operating system. So this same operation is um, you know, applicable on our Kali Linux. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to launch my uh, Parrot operating system inside my um, VMware. So what we have to do now is uh, we have to change to super user. So I'm going to type in the super SU and I'm going to uh, type in my password and I'm going to press enter. So now um, I've already changed uh, from user to root. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download this tech ID library. So in order for me to download this tech ID uh, library, I'm going to run the sudo apt get then I'm going to have install. Then the name of the uh, library dependency I want to download is called the stack ID. So I'm going to press enter. And this is going to um, check the internet for the latest uh, you know, version of the stack ID. So uh, I'm prompted with uh, this. Do you wish to continue or do you want to continue? So I'm going to type in yes and I'm going to hit enter. So um, this is going to download uh, the file from the internet. So once the file has been downloaded, we need to download uh, an image from the internet, the image we wish to uh, encrypt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch my uh, Mozilla Firefox and I'm going to search for an image on the internet. So this image can be uh, any form of image. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to search for uh, an image of a Ferrari. So I'm going to type in uh, Ferrari and I'm going to search for the image on the internet. So I want to encrypt uh, this uh, Ferrari image within with the text, so that when I send it to my uh, friend, they can be able to um, you know kind of like decrypt the message, the hidden message, uh, the hidden text in the image. So uh, this is gonna take a while, so it's still um, loading. Okay, so uh, we have this uh, beautiful picture of uh, this Ferrari. So I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna click on save image as. So I'm gonna click. I'm gonna save the image as a uh, Ferrari, Ferrari.jpg, Ferrari.jpg. So and I'm gonna save it on my desktop so that we can easily um, kind of like uh, encrypt the uh, image. So I'm gonna click on save. So um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna minimize my Mozilla Firefox, and uh, when we check our uh, desktop, we can see the image of the Ferrari uh, that I've downloaded. So the next thing I'm gonna do is. Um, I'm going to change to um, the desktop directory. So for me to change to the desktop directory, I'm going to have to run the command uh, change directory desktop. So now I'm uh, inside the um, 
desktop directory so in order for me to uh, check if i am really inside i'm going to type in the ls command and this is going to list out all the uh, files that i have in my desktop and we can see uh, the ferrari.jpg so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to type in the uh, message i want to encrypt but before that i have to um, create a message file so in order for me to create the message file i'm going to run the cat command and i'm going to type the message and when i press enter uh it has already created a new file called message so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to enter the text i want to encrypt so i'm going to uh, have welcome to my uh, youtube channel you can learn about ethical hacking learn about uh, ethical hacking On my channel so this is the message i want to encrypt in the uh in the file or this is the message i want to encrypt in my message so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to press enter so when i press enter the um the cursor is still blinking and we need to uh you know be able to type in another command so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press the command c so uh when i press the command c uh we are able to um, you know run another command so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to run this tag hide and i'm going to use uh tag cf so this tag cf um, allows us to pick the name of the file we want to encrypt and the name of the file is called uh, ferrari.jpg so the next thing i'm going to do or the next thing i'm going to write is the tag ef then uh the tag ef is the name of the file or the name of the text you want to embed in the image so the name of my uh file is called uh, message then i'm gonna press enter so uh i got an error that uh the command is unknown so uh i think i must have made a mistake so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run the uh stack id and i'm going to use the tag help so when i press enter it's showing me uh, the various command line i can use with my uh stack id library so in order for us to um embed uh, our uh message we need to use the stack id embed taxi f then followed by the name of the file then followed by the name of the uh you know the name of the uh, message itself so uh the mistake i made earlier was uh i forgot to embed uh, i forgot to type in the embed uh text so the embed command so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go back into my uh into my uh, terminal and i'm going to write the stack id followed by the embed and i'm going to use taxi f then followed by the name of the uh, image file I wish to encrypt. So I'm going to run the ferrari.jpg. Then next I'm going to use is this stack ef. So the name of the file I want to encrypt in my uh, image is called message. So I'm going to press enter. So this um, uh, library is going to uh, prompt me to create a passphrase. So in case uh, my uh, in case a third party was able to um, you know kind of like decrypt or is able to find out that I'm sending a six-bit message. They will be prompted to, uh, you know, enter the password to be able to decrypt the file. So uh, for the file, I'm going to create uh, a passphrase of uh, encryption. So I'm going to type the encryption. So that's going to be my um, uh, passphrase. So I have to um, verify the passphrase again. So I'm going to write uh, encryption, and I'm going to press enter. So now um, the Ferrari image has been, uh, you know, embedded. The text uh, "Welcome to my YouTube channel" has been embedded in the Ferrari.jpg. So um, the next step we are going to be looking at is how we can decrypt uh, an embedded or how we can uh, decrypt uh, a message file. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this message uh, file. So um, I've deleted it. So the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, extract the data from uh, our file. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run this tag id extract and um, followed by uh, tag sf then followed by the name of the file. So the name of the file is called uh, sorry I made a mistake tag sf. So the name of the file is called uh, Ferrari dot jpeg. So when I press enter, it's going to ask me for the passphrase. So uh, if uh, I don't know the passphrase, there's no way I can be able to decrypt the hidden message in this ferrari.jpg so uh, for the passphrase i'm going to use encryption and i'm going to press enter so 
after um, I've uh, you know extracted it, it's going to generate a new file called message. So when I double click on the message, I can see the content of um, the message, which is a uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. You can learn about ethical hacking on my channel. So that's how you um, embed uh, a text in an image using the stack guide and how you can extract uh, the uh, message from uh, you know your embedded uh, file. Please, if you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next tutorial video. Thank you.